Coach, um, just kind of seemed that it followed a bit of a trend of the last couple of weeks. Um, second half, the offense just really couldn't get the ball going, only the six points. Um, where does it kind of the deep dive into that begin as you go into the off or go into the bowl game and then the offseason of, of getting the second half offense going? We gave up 51 points. You know, I'm not focused on the offense. I mean, it's that we win as a team, we lose as a team. Um, and it wasn't our best performance, you know, and I, I thought the offense gave us a shot to stay in the game, you know. So, um, you know, those are things that we'll continue to look at. But I thought we played aggressively. I, I thought we, you know, I, it's, those are things that we'll look at as we keep going. But, I, you know, we kept the pedal down. Um, we just didn't make some of the plays we needed to and execute. And I thought their pass rush leaned on us as we went into the second half. So that was probably the biggest difference. Cam made some big time plays in the first half that kept us really going, some fourth downs um, that were just incredible. And we just we didn't make those type of incredible plays to win a game. So, you know, it, it's a lot of things that go into that that we need to get better at and we need to grow from. And I think those are things that we will do. For as good as the defense has been all year, it seems that third downs have kind of been an issue at times, especially third and long. They go 11 to 13 today. Yeah. How do you kind of address that as well and kind of fix that aspect of the defense? Well, I just think it's disappointing, you know, a little bit just in how we played in a couple of these big games. I thought we've been really good all season. Like, I'm not going to have one bad performance, sour, what I feel like we've accomplished over 12 games uh, on that side of the ball. Um, but they were one step ahead of us you know, every step of the way. And I thought they did a good job in their max protection game. They're willing to take the ball down the field more than anybody in the country. And I think they hit on a lot of those. And, um, you know, obviously not being able to get them off the field, you know, is, is a big issue besides the couple of takeaways in the second half. So I thought that was a, a big part of this game. And we just never, never got them off balance. You can just speak about Leighton Smith a little bit. It seemed like he was one of the bright spots offensively. He had another really solid game, and it just kind of progressed throughout the entire season. Well, I just think it's development, it's confidence, it's you know Cam trusting him more and more, and his finding his feel for being a wide receiver in this offense. So I think he's going to be better and better, and, and that's one of those things where you know I just think as you look down in the future, we're going to have a big time wide receiver, and sometimes you got to go through those growing pains of letting them make some mistakes as a, as a true freshman out there playing. So, uh, but I thought he did a good job and I thought he was a bright spot tonight. What would you say were uh, just coming off the field, the primary issues you saw on those deep balls down the field? Was it, uh, you know, communication, positioning, a combination of that and pressure? And uh, what do you think was maybe most costly there? You know, I think they did a good job of scheming up some of our stuff. And, you know, it's back to kind of a little bit of their Michigan State game plan. And they did some really good things to the nub side. And, you know, we, we obviously didn't hit him, didn't affect him. I think he's one of the best deep ball passers in the country, and I think he went out there and showed that again tonight. And he trusts his guys to go out and make plays. I think 11 was dynamic and, and made the big plays, and, and obviously those were, those were some tough ones to take as we were trying to just get momentum in the game. We could never get momentum on our side in the game. We kept swinging, and it was big swings back and forth, and we just never got over that hump in the second half. How much were you missing Armani Marsh in the secondary, and was that part of those uh, those those plays? Yeah, I mean we got a. You know, it's not the way we want to send out the seniors. You know, I, I can't even begin to put into words what Armani Marsh means to this program and what it means to this defense and what he means as a player and a person. Um, you know, it hurts hurts me that I didn't wasn't able to go out there and finish. You know, same thing with Kingston. Um, you know, same thing with Anard. Like these guys were part of the original four seniors that came here out of high school and made it all the way through. Um, you know, it hurts me that those three guys couldn't be out there for their senior night in their last game in the stadium. And I just think those three guys and their impact that they've had on me, uh, that they've had on this team and this place, you know, to not be out there is obviously a big loss. What were some of them, maybe the, on those uh, deep balls again, I, you know, after what you saw in the first half and maybe some guys getting caught in, in, in one-on-ones, what, what was the emphasis and at halftime, what were you trying to do to stop Well, I think that? the biggest thing, we went into it trying to want to take away some easy throws and their zone beaters and play some man. And um, they were making more plays. So we switched to a little bit more zone. And I just think they kept us off balance. And I don't care whatever zone you play, as soon as you, when you go 40 yards down the field, it's going to be man-to-man -man in that zone. And like I said, they... They went up and made some of those plays. Uh, besides the big one to open the second half, I, I think you know, we had guys that are there. And you know we made some plays, too. But they did a good job on double moves, especially early in that second quarter. 
Jake, we heard from you last year about the thrill and the, of winning this thing. Now you feel the other side. Can you describe the disappointment for your team and yourself of losing this game this year as opposed to what happened last year? Yeah, I mean, I, I told him in the locker room, it, it should scar him. It should hurt, you know, and scars are good if you learn from them, you know. So um, there's no joy in there. And I, I remember the jubilation of, of last year. And, you know, this isn't a game that we just game plan for seven days. You know, this is 365 days a year trying to w outwork an opponent, and that starts tomorrow. You know, so uh, I give credit. I give credit to their coaching staff. I give credit to their players. They went out there, and, and they won the game. They ex out executed, uh, you know, us tonight. But, uh, you know, it should scar us. It should hurt, especially I was talking to young guys. They didn't understand what this means, you know. So um, we'll bounce back. We'll handle adversity. We'll be resi resilient, and, uh, you know, we'll come back tomorrow ready to go. Uh, total yards allowed, and I believe that's their all-time in program history. Can you touch on your defense a little bit and their performance today? Well, I would just say it's obviously not good enough, you know. And like I said, I'm not going to let one bad performance just sour all the good that I feel like we've done throughout 12 games, you know. But, uh, you know, like I said, credit to them. You know, they went out there and made the plays, and, you know, obviously not where we want to be, so... Um, it's it's tough to take in this moment. You know, we just probably haven't played as well as a team. You know, when the defense is wrong, we haven't scored. When we scored, you know, we haven't had the defense moving. So, um, but we come in here as a team and win as a team, we lose as a team. And how do you take this game, flush it down, change momentum, and go into the ball game? Well, I just think that's what football is, and that's being a mature competitor, and that's what our guys have been, you know, forged in the fire, and that's. That's what, that's what our guys are going to do. You know, they're, they're mature about it. And, uh, you know, we'll wipe this thing. We'll learn from it. And I told those seniors in there we still got one more because we earned it. And, you know, our guys will be ready to play. Now we just got to wait three weeks or so to get this taste out of our mouth. So um, we got to get healthy, you know, give them some time off. Obviously, college football, we get into a recruiting phase. So um, we'll be ready for the bowl game. Given the way you guys have bounced back from adversity, especially after that losing streak earlier in the season, does that, I know you never want to find comfort in a loss, but does that give you some sort of peace of mind knowing that this team can do it for this final game here at the end of the season? We can do it because of the character of the men in the locker room. You know, it isn't just because of what we've been through this year. I, we never quit. We didn't quit tonight. You know, there's not a single adverse moment that our guys aren't ready for and, and we got great leadership in there and we got a great senior crew so like I said we'll be ready to play in the bowl game and like I said this one should hurt this one should sting and and we'll have the ability to though to move on uh coach you know you kind of talked about it a little bit of not letting this one performance start of the season um looking back on the season you know you guys have had really competitive games even leads against some of the best teams in the country and you know we talked about you know how the defense did tonight compared to how do it, how it's done in previous seasons and how the offense has done, you know, is um, kind of off of what Julian said, you know, not taking solace in the defeat necessarily, but, you know, as you go into the off season, as you go into the recruiting phase, is it, you know, helpful to s know that there are the pieces for, you know, getting those wins and getting those success there, there. And, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, making that one final push to put it all together. Yeah, unfortunately in this game, there's, there's no celebrating close. You know, and we've been close in a lot of different games and uh, against a lot of really good opponents. I think everyone realizes the Pac-12, you know, might, might be the premier conference this year in the country. And, you know, yes, we lost to five top 20 teams, okay? But at the end of the day, we got to do what we need to do to get over that hump. And it's about building this roster going forward. You know, and I feel very great about where we're at, one through 35, and we got to continue to build it 35 through 85. Okay, that's what the next phase of our program is going to be. So we got a, long, a lot of young guys that are out there getting a lot of experience. We got a lot of those guys back. So, you know, we'll be excited for the growth of what this season brought for us. Coach, uh, wanted to ask about the, the fake punt you guys had. Um, is that something you guys have been saving this season? And just what do you see on the execution of that play? Like I said, this is a 365-day preparation. It's something Coach Whitworth found in the summer that even these guys did at Fresno. Um, we felt very comfortable that they kept doing it throughout the year, um, and we took advantage of it. So great job by Coach Whitworth, and, and then we knew the right situation to call it, and we went out and executed it. So 
great job by Nick throwing it, and, and Dan was a wide receiver at one point. So, um, good job by those guys executing the play. Play today that surprised you guys at all? Yeah, you know, without watching the film, it's hard to the naked eye. I mean, you could look at you know some of the double moves we we're ready for, some of the shots. You know, I said we knew they would take it down the field, but they out executed us, and I think their third down plan was really good. You know, I thought they checked the sideline way more than they have. You know, so I think they had plans to the looks that we were giving them, and like I said I just felt today we we're one step behind. You've talked about the good um, in the last 12 games. Can you just touch on what have been some key takeaways um, for you I've, as you've di dived into your uh, first full season as head coach here at Washington State? Well, I just think, you know, when you're building a program, you know, it, it, sometimes you can't just get stuck in outcomes. And teaching these guys the process and what it takes to be great uh, is something that's been very important to us over the last year. And it's got to carry over. And then now all that foundation that we've built, we got to be able to keep building on it. And that's the momentum that our program needs going forward. You know, because I think today's world is a unique opportunity in, in college football, and, and this is a unique place. Okay, and I love this place. You know, and I'm, I want to give everything I have to here in Washington State and those guys in that locker room. And uh, But there's a mentality that I think we have developed that's going to take us into the long term even though sometimes you don't get the results you want in the immediate moment. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.